My first pro tip for your Schönbrunn visit is get an overview of Schönbrunn Castle and Park and make a plan what you want to see but also what you want to skip. This is necessary because Schönbrunn Castle and Park is really really big and you might want to avoid packing your schedule too full. So let me help you plan your visits to Schönbrunn and give you an overview of the castle and park as well as sharing my pro tips for your Schönbrunn visit. And by the way, hi, <laughs> I'm Grete and I'm a certified tour guide in Vienna. And if you plan to visit Vienna, you might want to check out my website gretewalz.com where you can either book a tour with me or purchase my Vienna audio guide or check out my list with Vienna travel essentials. Okay, enough self-promotion. Now let's get back to the video and let me share an overview of Schönbrunn Castle and Park with you. Schönbrunn can roughly be divided into three parts. The palace, the park and the zoo. In the palace you can see the Empress apartments as well as the glamorous state rooms and the grand gallery. In the park you can see the colorful flower beds, impressive fountains and the Gloriette which is located on a small hill. And last but not least, at Schönbrunn Zoo you can see cute animals like these pandas in a beautiful historic setting. If you want to visit the palace or the zoo you need to buy tickets. But the beautiful park is generally free to explore except for some specific gardens that you have to pay for. So let's check out the paid attractions in Schönbrunn. And by the way, if you find this video helpful, please like it, but also check out my video about common mistakes that you should avoid when visiting Schönbrunn. Now let's talk about the paid attractions in Schönbrunn beside the castle itself and we will start in the park. Although most of Schönbrunn Park is free, there are special gardens that you have to pay for. These are the Orangerie Garden, the Privy Garden, the Maze and the Observation Terrace of the Gloriette. Other paid attractions in the park are the Desert House and the Palm House. However, I think that these paid areas are not a must, especially when you're visiting Schönbrunn for the first time. Instead, I recommend concentrating on the free parts of the park, like the Grand Parterre, the Fountains, the Gloriette or the Botanical Garden. Another site in Schönbrunn that you have to pay for is the Imperial Carriage Museum. This former riding hall is located right next to the castle and it features carriages, sleighs and other imperial court vehicles. Inside the castle there are also some activities that cost extra beside the entrance fee and these are the children's museum and the virtual reality show. Now that we've talked about the different free but also paid attractions in Schönbrunn, it is time to dive into the different ticket options. And since tickets are actually quite pricey, my next pro tip is don't overpay and select a ticket that only covers what you really want to see. If you only want to visit the castle, you can choose between three different tours. Option number one is the tour through the state apartments where you will see a lot of the glitz and glam from the 18th century including the Grand Gallery. Ticket option number two is the Imperial Tour which takes you in the apartments of Emperor Franz Josef and his beautiful wife Elizabeth and you will also see the Grand Gallery. And option number three is the Grand Tour. This is the longest tour and it combines both the state apartments as well as the imperial tour. So with this ticket you will see all the rooms on the first floor of the palace. Admission tickets include an audio guide. A guided tour with a guide has to be booked extra. And by the way, I also do guided tours in Schönbrunn. And if you want to explore the castle with me, please check out my website gretewalz.com. Next, let's take a look at the combo tickets. With these tickets you book multiple attractions and save money overall. Okay, now let's have a look at the combo tickets in detail. The classic pass includes the grand tour in the castle as well as the paid parts of the park. With the classic pass plus you can also get admission to the zoo, the virtual reality show as well as to the desert house and the palm house. If you visit Schönbrunn with your kids, you can combine the children's museum with the maze in the park or additionally with the zoo. Please note that the combo tickets that include the paid garden areas are seasonal tickets and are not available during winter. 
During winter season, you might want to check out the seasonal offers, like the Winter Pass Tropical, which combines the castle with the zoo, the desert house and the palm house, or the Winter Pass Virtual that combines the castle, the zoo and the virtual reality show. Beside the seasonal combo tickets, there are also combination tickets with other castles, for example the Sisi ticket that combines Schönbrunn Castle with the Hofburg, which is the Imperial Palace, and the Furniture Museum. Also, you might want to check out the Vienna Pass, which is a very popular sightseeing pass for Vienna and it also includes Schönbrunn Palace as well as many other attractions in Schönbrunn. However, please note that with this pass, you will have to get your admission ticket for the castle at the ticket office in Schönbrunn. If there is no time slot for the same day, you will be given one for the next day. Please consider that when planning your schedule. Beside the more classic activities in Schönbrunn, like visiting the palace or the park, there are also some more unusual things to do. Like for example visiting the apple strudel show or going on a dinner with a concert. But to include all of these activities and the ticket options would be way too much for one video. So if you want to know more about that, please go to the blog on my website gretewalz.com where I included more inspiration for activities in Schönbrunn for you. We just talked about the tickets, now here's my next pro tip. Get your ticket early and online. Especially when it's busy, there are long lines at the ticket counter. Also the number of visitors to the castle is limited and if you're unlucky, you won't even get the ticket for the same day. So my advice is, get your ticket online and ahead of time. You can do that on the Schönbrunn website or the Schönbrunn app, where you can also select a time slot that suits you most. But be careful, they are really strict with the time slots, so make sure that you arrive at the castle a little bit earlier, so that you don't miss your entry. Next, let's see where to eat and drink. Since your Schönbrunn visit will probably take a few hours, you might want to eat and drink something. And these are my favorite places to do so. The easiest and most affordable way is to simply buy some snacks before your visit and enjoy them in the park. And if you get thirsty, you can fill your water bottle at one of the water fountains for free. If you rather prefer going to a restaurant, there are also options available. My favorite spots are the Café in the Gloriette because of the beautiful view at the palace, Landmanns Jausenstation, which is a bit hidden among hedges, and the Imperial Beer Tavern right next to the Imperial Carriage Museum. You can find the restaurants by checking the maps in the park or by using the Schönbrunn app. To download the app, please go to the blog on my website gretewalz.com where I included the link as well as more information on the restaurant opening times since some of them are only open during summer season. We just talked about the Schönbrunn app and this app is actually my fifth pro tip. With the Schönbrunn app you can plan your visit, book tickets and also get exclusive offers in Schönbrunn. And there is also an interactive map where restaurants, sites and bathroom facilities are marked. Also you will get background information on many sites in Schönbrunn. My next pro tip is to watch my video about mistakes that you should avoid when visiting Schönbrunn and also maybe check out my website for a guided tour in Schönbrunn. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips about Vienna. Thank you and goodbye! <laughs>